As we look ahead to the winter of 2025-2026, La Nina is the climate pattern on everyone's radar. It's a cooling of the central and eastern Pacific Ocean along the equator, and it can dramatically shift weather across North America. This year's La Nina is weak and west-based, meaning the coldest water is farther west than usual, making its impacts harder to predict. Instead of a steady winter, expect high variability, bursts of Arctic cold, then sudden warm-ups. No AA says there's a 71% chance La Nina sticks around through early winter, but it may fade by spring. Typically, La Nina brings colder, stormier weather to the northern U.S. and warmer, drier conditions to the south. But with this year's unusual setup, the lines are blurrier. Expect surprises. Think of La Nina as a quarterback calling unexpected plays. This winter, flexibility is key. The only certainty? A season full of action and unpredictability. Let's see how this pattern will shape the country. This winter, the U.S. will be split, cold and stormy in the north, mild and dry in the south. Cities like Seattle, Minneapolis and Chicago should brace for colder-than-average temperatures and more snow. Meanwhile, Phoenix, Dallas and Atlanta can expect a warmer, drier season. More like an extended autumn. The jet stream, pushed north by La Nina, traps Arctic air up top and lets subtropical warmth flow across the south. This divide means icy roads and high heating bills in the north, while the south faces drought risks. The north will see an active storm track and plenty of snow, while the south gets less rain and snow than usual. It's a classic La Nina setup wet and wintry up north, dry and mild down south. Two winners, one country. Snow lovers, this is your year, if you're in the right spot. The Pacific Northwest and Northern Rockies are set for above-normal snow, with resorts like Mott Baker and Jackson Hole expecting deep powder. Northern California and the Northern Sierra could see big snow, but Central and Southern California will be hit or miss. In Colorado the North fares better than the South. Southern Rockies, Arizona and New Mexico may struggle with warmth and dryness. The Midwest and Great Lakes are primed for snowy, stormy weather, especially with lake effect snow. The Northeast is a wild card. Early winter may be mild, but January could bring big storms. The Mid-Atlantic looks drier and milder, favoring snowmaking over natural snow. Alaska's interior will be warmer and wetter, while the Panhandle turns colder and drier. La Nina draws sharp lines. Some regions win big, others miss out. Where you are, makes all the difference. For skiers, the Northwest and Northern Rockies promise a banner season, but Southern resorts may struggle. Travel will be tricky. Expect flight delays and dangerous roads in the North as storms and temperature swings hit. The energy sector braces for higher demand and unpredictable spikes in heating needs, likely raising bills for millions. Businesses face costly disruptions from weather-driven delays and supply chain hiccups. For everyone, the stop and start winter means staying alert. One week could be mild, the next, a deep freeze. Check forecasts often, prep your car and home, and be ready for rapid changes. This winter is about adapting, not settling in. Flexibility and preparation are your best tools. With a weak, unpredictable La Nina, the best advice is to stay flexible and informed. Rely on short-term forecasts, they're more accurate than seasonal guesses this year. Prep your home, service your heating, seal drafts, and stock an emergency kit. Ready your car with snow tires, a shovel, and warm gear. Don't wait for the first storm. Sign up for weather alerts and check updates regularly. If you travel, plan for sudden changes and possible delays. Being proactive beats being caught off guard. This winter, treat the forecast as a guide, not a guarantee. Prepare for anything, and you'll handle whatever La Nina throws your way. Stay safe, stay ready, and enjoy the ride.